hi guys you're welcome to covets magazine and you're welcome to today's video so if you're a new subscriber you're welcome to the covets magazine gang and if you're just meeting covets magazine for the first time and you've not subscribed yet what are you even waiting for subscriber and be an official covets magazine gang and don't miss out on all the fun things from fashion to beauty to lifestyle to entertainment you'll find everything here at covets magazine <laughs> And so in today's video, we're looking into the best style looks from um, Spring Summer 2023 runway. Um, we visited Milan Fashion Week, we visited um, Paris Fashion Week, we visited um, New York Fashion Week, and we found all you know all the best style looks from from major designers. We've kind of put them together to to create today's video. But before we move on into seeing all the best style looks um, from the runway, let's talk about the major designers that are very much loved here at Covet Magazine. Let's talk about our results. Observations. Let's talk about um, the, the spotted trends and so on and also don't forget leave a comment in the box uh, leave, leave us a comment in the box below and let us know how you feel about today's um, video and about the runways um, that are going to be mentioned today So don't let us take too much of time in today's video. Let's just um, dive into it Alright, welcome back. So <laughs> without taking too much of time in today's video, the first runway that we're, we're making a stop at is um, at Jojo Armani. We all know Jojo Armani to be one of the oldest, one of the oldest designers that ever lived. So we're, we're making a stop at the major ones. I mean, the ones that have been, like, that they've been an icon in the market. So that's what, that's what we're in the community, fashion community. That's what we're, we're looking at today, you know. Um, so, how do we feel about um, Giorgio Armani's um, runway, the Spring Summer 2023 runway? Um, from, from here at Covet Magazine, um, the first reservation is that um, the, the, it's not really a reservation, it's just impression, thought, reservations all together. And then we, we can also talk about the trend as well. So, the first thought that I would say is that the overall look on the runway is like a, a vintage classic look. Which is so so beautiful, and um, um, I love the fact that the designer is not really is not really running after trend or trying to keep up with trend. Just they just um, dance into their own sound, which is very very beautiful. So that's one thing that was um, noted. And another thing is that um, I don't really like the mesh um, style looks, but the suit looks. So the mesh style looks they they kind of look a little bit too old-fashioned for me they, no, they don't look too trendy i mean it's like net net is i don't know i think net is part of the trend of the season as well but i'm not sure if i really like it so from um, jojo armani's um, runway so you might like it i'll pop a picture on the screen for you to have a look so i said i do not like the mesh style looks but the suit looks are so good i love the fact that um, the suit looks were finished with some um, gold trainers which is very chic very beautiful very edgy and very different so it's a it's a it, that's why i call the look a very vintage classic they're like um a vintage looks but with the with the trainers it's just hardened a little bit of edge a little bit of modernity a little bit of classicness into it so the fashion pieces that will, that will last forever in your wardrobe if you manage to lay your hands on any of them so um what other thing i said um i also love how um uh, and I also love the fact that um, the, the gold trainers that, that were used to style the suit looks, I love the fact that they didn't take out the vintageness and classicness out of the overall look. If, 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 the, if there's any word like a vintage, vintageness or classicness. So I love the fact that um, the trainers didn't steal all that. It's still very edgy, still very beautiful. And um, it's something you can wear to any event, special occasion, wedding and so on. So um and that's it these are all the reservations and all the thoughts about um, the runway in general but what are the spotted trends like i said the brand didn't really go after trend but created their own like um practical fashion pieces and style looks so that is what i spotted but the the major trend that i would say that um uh, it's uh, that i spotted and um it's kind of common in other runways as well um it's silk um, the brand used a lot of silk to create a different kind of um, style looks from dresses to suit looks to and so on there's also sheer dressing as well sheer dressing is also the trend of the season and um juju amani also um created that in its um, designs and style looks and there are also pastels there are pastels there are both colors and so on so those are the spotted trend and that these are all the um, all my reservations and all the thought and um, spotted trend here at Covet magazine that we think we should bring to you so 
um and i believe that the fashion pieces are also very they're like the way forever fashion pieces so this they're so beautiful and um and they, that's just it so let's move on to the next runway <laughs> All right, so for the next runway, we're making a stop at um, Bottega Veneta. We all love Bottega Veneta for its edgy designs, for its trending fashion, fashion statements, and so on. So, you know, I don't really, I, I honestly, the, the runway was so beautiful. I have no reservation, but just to say that um, my thought about the runway is that it has an overall modern classic look, a modern classic look. So the cla the, the the looks, the designs, and the style looks, they're modern. But also, um, they are classic in in, the, in their own way. Whereby, come another years to come, you'll still be able to wear them. So that's that's my own um, opinion about the overall look on the runway. And then for the spotted trend, oh my God, a lot of trend were created, a lot of trend were spotted. So um, the first uh, spotted trend was the is the leather. The first spotted trend is the leather trend, and also the knitwear trend. Another um, spotted trend is the blazer blazer dress blazer dress is still going on strong and um Botiga actually made it longer this time around so still look at keep eyes keep eye on that and there's also the cohorts the cohorts are still going on strong as well there's power suiting power suiting is still going on strong and um and they are they actually come in different um, designs now in from Botiga Veneta's runway they come in like a three-piece kind of um um, designs which is so beautiful I love it the power suiting so there's also a symmetric um, tailoring Oh, by the way, I forgot to add that um, the overall look has a, like I said, I said it has a modern classic and it also has like a hint of um, um, of couture. So there are some textured dresses, textured skirts that were sported. So I just thought I'd bring that to your attention as well. So it has a hint of texture, hint of um, couture in it as well. So a lot of detailing and so on. You love it. So um, there's fringe, fringe textures, te texturedness. If there's anything like that, any word as um, texturedness. But we all know fringe. Fringe is part of the trend. Um, Botiga incorporated it in the dresses. It also in, it also incorporated it in its bags and so on. So look out for that there's also the mary jane eels the mary jane eels are so so gorgeous and very beautiful and i love the fact that the eels are kind of like a, a chunky they like chunky eels so um i love that so it's part of the trend of the season so look out for that and i love the gold the gold version mm, very beautiful there's also there are also coat dresses as well there are coat dresses there are oversized blazers oversized blazers are still going on strong and there are pointy um covered moles so there's these um instead of um instead of the open toe uh, moles there are they are kind of like a uh, pointy covered so similar to pump but just in more in kind of like a moose design so that's going on strong on the Bottega Veneta's runway and it's kind of the trend of the season we should look out for the tank top is also going on strong and they, there are many prints as well the, the print the print trend is definitely on the runway there as well so that's my thought and that's our thought here at Covet magazine and that's um, uh we do not have much reservations other than just thoughts you know spotted trend that you can actually have fun with a lot of i love Bottega veneta's runway and um if you're looking for um spring summer 2023 fashion fashion trends fashion looks style looks and so on go to Bottega veneta's runway you definitely find them there so you know modern classic look with hint of couture here and there is so beautiful Achieve you know so let's move on to the next runway so for the next runway we're making a stop at some um, Dolce and Gabbana we all know Dolce and Gabbana one of their one of the iconic brands you know that's ever lived and you know we, we, we can't help but just to, you know make a stop there and see what you know what they're up to there so when we made a stop our thought here at Covet magazine is that um, the overall runway is uh, is a modern classic with hint of couture as well a very modern classic with hint of couture the looks on the runway were so so gorgeous and so beautiful I, you know i can't even have enough of it and the good news another good news about the brand is that the brand is actually um collaborating with some um, kim kardashian to create similar looks with their collection i wonder what they're going to come up with but in the meantime the spring summer 2023 runway it's so beautiful it's like couture it's like it's like couture on the runway that you can wear on everyday look it's so gorgeous oh my god and very edgy as well so what are the spotted trains the spotted trains would be embellishments a lot of embellishments there are um, onesies beautiful onesies there are furs there are silks and there are coats the coats are still going on strong and um, there are corset there are 
there are corsets as well corsetry is also going on strong on the runway sheer dressing is also going on strong on the runway there is vinyl um, the brand actually brought back vinyl into the runway as well so in case we're still there, i'm not sure if we're still there i think we i think we're done with vinyl honestly because fendi really fendi did that a lot um, about two to three seasons ago so um dolce and gabbana brought it back and there were about two looks that featured it so if you're still interested in the vinyl look it's still going on going on strong on the runway so there are opera gloves lots of opera gloves so uh, I, honestly i'm you you'd get to see all the style looks and see how they incorporated the opera gloves with everyday look they're so beautiful honestly you you know you you can't go wrong with it if you're looking for style inspiration on the runway go to dolce and gabbana go to boutique of anita you'll definitely find them there the tank top is also going on strong at Dolce and Gabbana's runway, and there are a lot of blacks. I noted a lot of blacks as well on many runways at some um, spring summer twenty twenty three um, fashion week. So um, note that as well. So let's move on to the next runway. <laughs> All right, so the next one with that we made a stop is Versace. We all know Versace. Versace is one of the iconic, you know, super iconic brand that, you know, when it comes to fashion week, you can't afford not to make a stop there. So we made a stop at Versace and see what they are up to. But what? We were disappointed. So, so disappointed. The runway could not be defined. I couldn't even say this is what the runway is. Is it rock and roll? Is it white 2K? I don't know what the runway is all about, but I couldn't find Versace on the runway. Honestly, usually when Versace does some um, runway, it will create like, um, you know, sophisticated sexiness, you know, sophisticated sexiness. Then it can, uh, then eventually they kind of go for what is actually trending because what is actually trending right now is like a Y2K um, kind of fashion is what's trending right now. And we all know Y2K fashion trend is a bad fashion era. So, that was all that filled the runway just bad fashion i just couldn't i couldn't usually they will go into archives they will go into archive dig into archives to see what's inside it you know what they can actually bring back and had a new a new take to read to make it very modern and now but they didn't actually do that they actually they, they were stuck with the y2k trend and it was like a flat a zero honestly I couldn't believe it. Versace. I mean, look it. Let me just give you my thoughts. What I wrote down from my thoughts from Covet magazine. So I said the overall runway cannot be defined. The looks and the designs were not Versace's. Um, they're not Versace. They do not say Versace like I said earlier. Um, compared to the last two seasons where there were oversized blazers, there were latex, there were corsetry, including room for Fendashi. So I mean. Talk of last season, spring summer twenty twenty two. There were like a lot of a lot of trend, a lot of um, archives that were brought back to now that got us so excited and full of joy because we generation of now would love to enjoy what was uh, enjoyed in the past and we, we we love that about Versace that they actually do that when it comes to their design and I mean can you, can you compare the safety you know can you, if you can remember the safety pin um trend from from last season none of that i couldn't spot any of that the what about the um the color the colorful ones that honestly you know where the print the print the face prints and so on that were brought back that we had so much fun with none they didn't actually go back to bring anything back to bring anything to now i, I was so heartbroken because um i mean the, the the person that actually finished the runway was um paris hilton paris hilton could not even rescue the runway that's how bad the, the fashion pieces were i couldn't find i couldn't find it i couldn't find myself there that is why I couldn't find myself. I'm that kind of chick with um corsetry dressing, um drapery, latex with um with oversized blazers, with mini skirts and so on that were done last season. I was expecting something new, you know, inject injection of something new, you know, something from the past as well to get us excited for spring summer twenty twenty three. None, nothing. Honestly, it was flat. I do not. Did someone fall sick? Did someone go off sick? I think someone went off sick. Honestly, I don't know. What happened, Fasashi? I was heartbroken. So that's just our reservation here at COVID magazine. Although we still love Fasashi, so we're hoping that um they will bring they'll bring back their 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 A game the next season, hopefully. So 
let me continue with what I wrote down should in case I missed out I said um the um, I said compared to the last two seasons where there were oversized blazers latex corset three including room for Fendashi uh, we were you know we're so dis disappointed there at Covet magazine with the spring summer 2023 fashion show it was all bad designs bad fashion even Paris Hilton could not rescue the runway I said the brand usually come up with new brand with new trends and they and they always dig into iconic archives what happened what happened Fasashi? and that's it i rest my case nothing else to say but then with the few designs that were on that were spotted on the runway there were some some spotted trend as well they were cut out they were blacks they were shade dressing and they were leather they a lot of leather and they were chunky loafers and sandals and they were fringe they might they, they actually managed to lay their hands on the fringe trend and there are a lot of white 2k trend as well so these are all the spotted trend at some um, Versace's runway although it did not make me jump i couldn't find myself the sophisticated sexy girl next door i couldn't find it there so that's that's all that's all at covet magazine <laughs> So let's go. Let's move on to the next um, runway. So we made it. We made a stop at Gucci, and uh, I believe Gucci is playing with some with twinning. <laughs> a lot of twins on the runway, just to have, probably to have a little bit of edge to the runway. We all know Gucci is very awkward when it comes to its designs and so on. A good awkwardness, you know, yeah, a good edgy awkwardness that we love. So th that was also there as well. So fun, fun to watch as well. So um, don't um. The, the, uh, including the designs, the designs aren't so the designs aren't so uh, bad as well. So what's the what are our thoughts here at Covet Magazine about the runway, which is Gucci's um spring summer twenty twenty three runway? Um, our thought is that the overall runway looks are uh, more than classic, and um the spotted trains were like um cutouts. There were po power suiting, leather, and prints. These are all the few spotted trains that um we kind of found at uh at some um, Gucci's um runway. So very it's a very simple simple runway but very edgy you know the the designer actually tried to he, he tried to get us on our toe just to get us excited with all the twinnings that was that was going on on the runway so um that's it about um gucci's runway nothing much to say <laughs> so let's move on to the next runway all right so before we move on to the next runway about gucci one thing that i actually found um very interesting is the um the cut out of power suiting like uh uh the i think there's a wide leg trouser that had a bit a big cut out in the in the middle of the ties it's so beautiful and very edgy so if you're looking for a new way to have fun with your power suiting this um spring summer 2023 that is forthcoming this is it's worth having a look at it's a good way to add an edge to your to your style look and add variety to your to your personal style so i just thought i'd add that today um to our thought here at covet magazine so the next room with that we're making a stop is uh, at moschino moschino we love you we love you you didn't disappoint us you did not break my heart like fasashi did so thank you moschino a lot of fun the runway is, was full of playful 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 designs and style looks that you definitely will have fun with if you're if you know if you're a fashion lover you would know what i mean you definitely have fun with it so what's our reason what's our thoughts here and um i i don't think we have any reservation but just thoughts i said um the thoughts here at covet magazine is that um only Moschino is giving us something new and we love it. And um, almost all these style looks are wearable and a very modern, playful runway. It's a very modern, playful runway. I mean, the, uh, what was it thinking? In, it, it actually incorporated balloons into into skirt suit look, into peplons and the hem of the of the skirts and so on. I'm telling you, you have you would definitely have fun with these designs. I love it. So one of the best runways in at some um, spring summer 2023 fashion week one of the best runways so um if you're looking for for style for fashion for style looks and fashion pieces to wear this um, next summer go to moschino you'll find something there if you're a moschino girl a playful edgy girl you will definitely find your your, your style there definitely so what are the spotted trend on the on the runway the spotted trend were balloon hems a lot of balloon hems they were pass, pa power suiting they were suit look short suit there were short suit, there were skirt suit, and there were uh, balloon hearts. There were moves. Moves are still going on strong as part of the trend. There, there were uh, pointy toe pumps, which will definitely have fun. Pastels, print, stripes, 
belted coats you definitely find them there i mean the stripes this season this um, spring summer 2023 season they're like bold very bold big stripes which i love so much and uh, the few designers that we managed to make a stop at they really played with it very well so look out for that it's something that you can have fun with you can mix it as a you know you can you can mix it with uh, with your favorite neons and pastels and so on so gorgeous stripes of variety so Moschino did that, so and we love it here. So another st another um, runway that we're making a stop is at Prada. We all know Prada, major designer. We have to make a stop there. So what's the overall thought of what was the overall runway about? The overall runway is more like a a modern runway, and that's it. There are no reservations or anything. Just a very modern runway. We all know Prada is a very simple brand. It's very simple brand that had a little bit of edge here and there, hint of edginess here and there, never so loud. So you, you won't have to, you won't actually find too much reservations other than, you know, you know, just take us there. You can't, that's the funny thing about Prada's runway. You, when you get there, you just submit to him, to the brand. You just submit to the brand like, you know what, take us to where you want to go. And that is exactly what he did. It took us, this is what I've created. It's, um, the sash is still there. A beautiful mini, rushed mini uh, dresses. Uh, edgy beautiful sim yet very simple dresses ah oh, they're so gorgeous and that is what i did when i got to the to the runway i just kind of submitted myself i'm like you know take us take me there let me know and that's exactly what prada does so anyway so what were the spotted trend the spotted trend were oversized blazer there is silk the silk will like I, many brands actually played with silks the silk fabric a lot so in various in dresses in skirts and so on you you definitely find them there there were onesies a lot of onesies at prada there were knitwear there were sheer dressing there were blacks i told you a lot of brands were are playing with brand uh with blacks this season there were a lot of leather and uh, a lot of um sashes so this time around instead of the mini skirts with sashes the brand actually created the uh, the dresses in a, in the form of a dress with sash at the back so beautiful and there's this one standout uh, mini dress that i love so much it's like a part of a blazer the kind of fabric you know the common fabric we find in suits like grayish kind of fabric and he made it into a, um, into a mini dress it's so beautiful with a little bit of um rush detailing very very loose a very loose rush detailing and on, on the dress they're so gorgeous and i think the dress also came in uh, in a form of in a red color tone it came in a red color tone it came in gray and so on i'll definitely pop the pictures here for you to have a look so beautiful it stood out and i believe it's something that will go viral this spring summer 2023 runway so i can predict that all right so the next runway that we're making a stop is um jw and the scene we love jw and the scene um our overall thoughts uh, about the runway is that um it's a very simple modern runway with inch of couture we all know um jw and the scene always play with some um, with couture here and there so i said um there aren't much styles to pick but a few spotted style are very beautiful. Again, another designer that danced to its own sound. So the the only the, it it the brand didn't actually go after trend, but created its own trend. So and is expecting us to to come on come along with him. So um, the only spotted trend uh, were silk. The silk has still there, and there were a lot of um round um silhouettes. So like a big bubble bubble kind of dresses. So those are the few fashion uh, style looks that um that actually caught our attention here at COVID magazine. And then um, we just sort of, you know bring it to your attention should you be interested. It's so beautiful. They're, so, they're so beautiful. Not so much on the runway, but the few ones that were there, they're so gorgeous. So all right. So the next runway that we're making a stop is at Molygod. Goddard. Molly Goddard Spring Summer 2023 runway has overall um, very, a modern and playful look. So the overall runway is like a very modern and playful runway. A lot of voluminosity, a lot of maturity in its design compared to the to um, previous um, runways where you would actually find a lot of tool, a lot of um, very playful, like a, a young woman who has who is playing with its um, inner child or something like that. So that's what you would normally find at Molly Goddard. And she has a little bit of awkward, awkward, awkwardness as well. So she's that, she's that kind of brand, you know, a little girl, um, a matured little girl with uh, awkward, awkward um, designs. I don't know, you know, it, in a good way, not in a bad way, in a very good way. So we love something different and um, she always give us that. But, but this um, season, I mean, the spring, summer 2023 runway is more of like a matured looks, which 
which actually caught my attention and I love that. So a lot of voluminosity, beautiful skirt and crop top that would fit that would fit the next the girl next door uh, along as um the celebrity and um, and the monarch and so on. So I love that. It's also the blonde way also featured um shared dressing as well. It also featured um power suiting, which is which are all the spotted trained, and it also features um neons, neons and prints. And there are also tools as well. She also had a little bit of a um, hint of tool to some dresses, so but it's more like a patchwork kind of um tool compared to like overall tool that she would normally go for for most of her looks. So you know, she really brought her a game. I mean, I think the brand is saying we are, you know, you know, you know, we're grown up. <laughs> the brand is telling me, the brand is saying I'm matured, I'm matured, you know, and that's what I've, that is exactly what I spotted on the runway. So, go to Molly Goddard, you'll definitely find something for yourself. I can, I, I was able to find myself on the runway, so I'm sure you'll be able to find yourself there as well. So, let's move on to the next runway. All right, so for the next runway is Tom Ford. I have to make a stop at uh, Tom Ford. I'm a lover of Tom Ford. Tom Ford plays with urban, urban style looks, urban designs, and so on. So there's no way that I won't actually make a stop there because I love urban. I'm urban. So, excuse me. So definitely, we have to make a stop at Tom Ford. So what's our thought here at Covet Magazine about the runway? Our thought is that um, the overall runway is very modern and very disco-like kind of runway. We called it disco dress chic, yeah, disco dress chic kind of runway. So, excuse me. <laughs> so you would, I mean, it's something. I believe it's something you would be, you would, you would have fun with in the spring summer season. So, um, I said I love the oversized um, sequin earrings. That is what actually blew me off. You know, with all the run, with all the new designs and all the tr spotted trains and so on. The final looks, which were, were more like a sequin dresses matched with a beautiful giant um, sequin um, hoop earrings. They're just so gorgeous oh my god i'm sure he actually went back probably into 70s or something like that and i just see myself wearing that earring apart from the dresses i might not want to wear the dresses but the earrings alone i can pair it with my baggy with my baggy jeans along with my crop top and i'm good to go for any party if you, if you know what i mean that's how beautiful the the hair the earrings just stole my heart and you know i thought i'd bring it to your attention as well so all right, so what more? What are the spotted trends? The spotted trends are the Bermuda shorts. Bermuda shorts is still going on strong. Super micro shorts. The super. I mean, last season we enjoyed them. Um, the super micro mini from uh, Miu Miu, which is a micro mini skirt. Sorry, so we enjoyed the super micro mini skirt from Miu Miu last season. But Tom Ford actually brought the super micro shorts this season. So look out for that it's something that i believe you can have fun with this season as well so um what are the other uh, spotted trend the other spotted trend uh are the bomber jackets the bomber jackets are still going on strong there are leather the leather is still very much strong then metallics a lot of metallics like i said it's like a, a disco inspired kind of runway and it's giving us 70s vibe and so on and there are a lot of silk as well a lot of silk the silk is still going on strong on the runway this season I, I believe it's something we're going to have fun with this um spring summer 2023 um season that is um forthcoming so um, that is it about tom ford runway you will definitely find yourself there as well if you like to have fun you want to if you have parties this next summer coming up you'll definitely find something for yourself at some tom ford so look out for that all right so the next runway that we're making a stop is at michael cause in case you're hearing any background noise at the back apology i've got my eater on the weather we're in between weather so we don't even know if we should turn on the radiator or not so i just have this little mini fan eater here that is keeping me warm so apology for any background noise so the next um, runway that we're making a stop is at a uh, michael cause we make we're making a stop at a uh, michael cause spring summer 2023 runway so what's our thoughts and reservations we don't really have much um, reservations um, for michael cause but we have a, a simple thought and the thought is that uh, the overall runway is a very modern runway we all love michael cause michael cause have been around for a while now and the, the beautiful thing about michael cause is that a girl like me that's always on budget i'll be able to find something at michael cause for myself affordability yet quality yet a luxury designer that is what a girl like me love i'm not sure about you let me know how you feel about a michael cause um 
fashion pieces and the brand itself in the comment box below so that's the only touch we have here at covet magazine and then what are the spotted trend the spotted trend range from fringe there were fringe in bags and in outfits and so on um there is um skirt suits oversized blazer power suiting knitswear metallics tank tops and silk silk is also very much alive at uh, michael cause um, spring summer 2023 runway so i thought i bring all this to your attention should you be wondering what's actually trending um you know for next season i mean we only have a few months in the in autumn winter probably like a uh, four four to six months within autumn winter we're back to summer again so it's good to plan ahead so these are all the trains so just for you to know so the next um runway that we're making a stop is at fendi fendi spring summer 2023 runway so what has is our thought like again uh, fendi is one of the major de designers that's ever been and we love the brand for its classic designs and the wearable or band fashion pieces we love the brand so much so um we do not have so much reservation but love a lot of love <laughs> and um, the overall thoughts uh, about the runway is that it's a very simple modern runway so very simple modern runway what are the spotted trend the spotted trend range from caramel to sheer dressing um, the brand also played with sheer dressing the brand also played with neons a lot of neons and a lot of um, chunky sandals so these are all the spotted trend from um, uh, that we actually found on the runway by Covet magazine at um, Fendi's um, spring summer 2023 runway so so we're, we're now we're making the final stop now like i said we there's no way we can put all the designers together in today's video that's just gonna take forever and we might get tired and so on so let's just pick a few major ones that we believe that um their fashion pieces are wearable their their style looks are very achievable and the the style looks you know the kind of um then their the style looks are kind of enough to rescue us through the spring summer 2023 season so that is what we've done in today's video so the final designer that we made a stop at is at carolina herrera we, i love carolina herrera and we love carolina carolina herrera here at covet magazine i'm sure you do as well the brand has most of the sophisticated classy fashion pieces and style looks that they're so easy to achieve even if you were if you're a celebrity and you wear these fashion pieces to to runway you would you would definitely stand out because just because of the simplicity yet very sophisticated yet very edgy it's you no know, that's just my that's just how i feel about carolina Herrera's um fashion pieces and um runway and fashion shows and so on so no you won't you would you will not be disappointed if you have a wedding if you have many wedding parties booked for spring summer 2023 go to Car carolina herrera you'll definitely find fashion pieces there for yourself so that's what i'm trying to say from the girl next door to the to the um to the um hollywood girl not next door <laughs> you they, they would both would definitely find something for themselves so that's what i'm saying so what's our thoughts and reservations do we have any reservations and so on let's go let's say our thoughts is that um the the runway is a very modern runway with wearable and practical pieces beautiful wearable practical pieces you, we, i'm sure the, the words are very simple something that it's easy to achieve that's it and the style looks the style look makes so much sense to the girl next door like i said as well as the celebrity the girl at um, in hollywood you know getting ready for a red carpet or uh, the girl next door getting ready for a family wedding you will find something for yourself so look out if you're looking for fashion pieces affordable beautiful luxury you know edgy you sophisticated classy sexy you will find it there you find it at some um, carolina herrera so what are the spotted trend the spotted trend range from prints which are stripes i love the the tube um the stripe tube, tube dress it's so beautiful and i love the way they were styled they were actually completed with beautiful bucket bags like um you know like i was trying to say bucket bags is also part of the spotted trend on the runway they're so beautiful there were florals as well part of the prints so um oversized um stripes big stripes bold stripes along with florals those are the prints that were spotted there they were voluminosity as well a lot of voluminosity voluminosity in a very beautiful edgy way you they were also spotted there as well there were vintage modern denim um there were two there were a lot of tools the cords there are a lot of cords which is uh, the trend of the season and it's kind of going on strongly i don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon they're just gonna 
you know designers are just going to be giving us different takes that's all i believe there are bucket bags the bucket bags has been on train since um, last season so carolina Herrera is still carrying it into the next season so they were neat wear and they were also deep plunging them decolletage in dresses in jumpsuits and so on so beautiful you know sophisticated modern style looks with inch of um inch of couture like i said you know if i can say inch of inch of couture there and here and there gorgeous gorgeous runway so these are all the runways that have been visited at some um, spring summer 2023 um, fashion week and i believe that with all these designers and all these style looks you know they're just enough to actually create style looks for yourself throughout the um throughout next um, summer season so do not let me take too we've all we've talked about the trend and we've talked about our reservations like i said let me know how you feel about um all the style looks and all the uh, all the runways in the comment box below so from covet magazine to you here are all the best style looks from spring summer 2023 runways
all right welcome back so i hope you really enjoy the the video and i hope you really enjoy the runway if that's the right word yes i hope you really enjoy the runway um if you do please give this video a thumbs up let us know how you feel in the comment box below um image courtesy goes to all the brands that have been mentioned today from carolina herrera to um so fendi and so on including go runway as well go runway and um do not forget to visit covetsmagazines.com yes covetsmagazines.com you'll definitely have fun when you get there and don't forget we covet fashion we covet fashion <laughs> and i'll see you in our next video